All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a two-sample z-interval for a difference between two proportions. So I have a problem I made up. Uh, no real truth in any of this. Did get some numbers off the internet from the Gallup poll. But anyway, in January of 2010, a survey of 1,415 adults in the U.S. showed 51% approved of the president's job performance. In January of 2016, a survey, survey of 1,100 adults in the U.S. showed that 47% approved of the president's job performance. Construct and interpret a 90% confidence interval for the difference in the presidential, president's approval rating from 2010 to 2016. So, first off, we're going to go ahead and state the parameters of interest. P1 is the population proportion of U.S. adults who approved of the president in January of 2010. P2 is the population proportion of U.S. adults who approved of the president in January of 2016. We want to estimate the difference, P1 minus P2, at a 90% confidence interval. So the next step is we need to uh, come up with the conditions, make sure that it passes all the conditions. First off, for randomness, the problem does not state that that data was collected randomly. We will note this, but we're going to proceed with the test anyway. Uh, it'd be good. Maybe you might have to contact the people who collected the data for you and make sure that they randomly selected maybe a simple random sample whatever. But here we'll go ahead and keep going. We're going to check the independence, sometimes called the 10% condition. And in this case, both 1415 and 1100, so 1415 and 1100 are less than 10% of U.S. adults. And so at this point, notice I had to make a quick change on that, but we're going to calculate the standard error. All right, the standard error formula for p hat 1 minus p hat 2 is the square root of p hat 1 times 1 minus p hat 2, uh, 1 minus p hat 1 over the sample uh, size for p1 plus p hat 2 times 1 minus p hat 2 over the sample size for uh, the for P2. So plugging in the numbers and what we have so far is uh, the proportion for P1 was 0 0.51 times 1 minus 0 0.51 over N1. Oh, sorry, we know what N1 is, 1,415 plus uh, second second set is uh, 0 0.47 times 1 minus 0 0.47 all over 1,100. And then we go ahead and get out a calculator and calculate that. And go ahead and plugging that into, here's a TI Inspire and how that would look like if we went ahead and calculated that out. So it looks like we have a standard error of 0.02. And what's kind of neat is uh, the TI Inspire, just to point that out, I use the fraction key, and then you can just do a control uh, square key to get the square root. Well, then you put in the fraction. But just to kind of show you the buttons I used, but there is, there is the standard error. So with that calculated, we need to go ahead and come up with the large counts condition to make sure we can use the normal distribution. In all cases we have to make sure that everything is at least 10. And so you do that by checking everything. N1 P hat 1 equals uh, 1415 times 0.51 which is 722 and N1 times, excuse me, 1 minus p hat 1 is 1415 times 0.51, which is uh, 
693 and again I'm rounding here uh, to the nearest whole whole number because this is successes and failures you're not going to have a partial success and then n2 times p hat 2 would be 1100 times 0.47 which is equal to 517 and n to 1 minus p hat 2 is 1100 times 0.53 which is 583 and so once you have all four of those you just make a statement something like this at the bottom here and I'll pull it up so you can see it all four are at least 10 so the conditions are so that condition is met we can use basically a normal distribution so once the conditions are met, we can go back to our calculator, and I'm going to clear that out. I'm going to go into Menu, Statistics, and then we want to do Confidence Intervals. And this is a, you know, you want to be careful here. A two-sample Z-interval means you have the standard deviation for both. Uh, granted, we could calculate that, but but if you use a two proportion z interval it'll calculate it for you so so when you do this so we wouldn't have had to find this standard error at all but i think it's good to still be able to do that so x1 uh, our successes was 722 out of a total of four, 1450 uh, x2 we had 517 successes out of a total of uh, 1,100. We only want a 90% confidence, and then we'll hit. We'll go ahead and hit enter. Or OK, and there we have it. So our lower bound is uh, 0 0.007. Our upper bound is 0.07. Um, our uh, margin of error, kind of important there, is 0.03. So that's your standard error taken times your z-score and all your p-values. And just in case you don't have uh, that TI Inspire, kind of a nice calculator, but it's pretty expensive. You do have GeoGebra, which is totally free online. So you go to GeoGebra.org, click on Start GeoGebra. We're dealing with probabilities here. You pull up the statistics instead of distributions. And we want to do a interval. We're going to estimate a population mean. But we're going to be real specific here, and we're going to estimate the difference of two proportions. So right there it is. Uh, we wanted a 90% confidence, so 0.9. Uh, our first successes were 722 out of 1415, 1415, and then 517 out of 1100. And we go ahead and you can see, if I pull that up, sorry that's clear at the bottom, there's our interval, which actually, oh, right there it is, excuse me. So 0 0.0072 to 0 0.0733, which you can see is the same as the TI Inspire. Standard error 0 0.02, that's kind of nice that it gives you that without the z-score. And we're ready to interpret the data. So we are 90% confident that the interval from 0 0.01 to 0 0.07 captures the true difference in the proportion of all U.S. adults who approve of the president in 2010 and 2016. And probably should be a little more specific and put in the January 2010 and January 2016. So hope this helps you out. Um, I, I kind of got away from doing this by hand just to show you the technology side of things and how you can do it with a free online tool or do it with your rather 
high price calculators. So see you next time and hope this helps.